will come to the birthday type of question that is very typical question i cannot say it is a very peculiar question typical question that used to ask based on the calendar if niva birthday is 31st january 1996 1996 first thing once any of the year will look then what we will look here it is leap year or non leap year what is 1996 it is leap year why it is divisible by 4 how to check what is the divisibility rule of 5 you will tell sir again repeating the last two digit must be divisible by 4 divisibility rule for 8 last three digit divisible by 8 here last two digit 96 that's why looking itself it, we can say it is a 24 into 4 it will be divisible by 4 the 1996 it is a leap year leap year means february will be 29 first observation second observation which date it is asking or which day it is birthday it is before february or after february that will make the difference that will make the difference we'll discuss both of that here 35 january is before february which day c will celebrate birthday in 1997 okay 31st january first we'll look 1996 it is leap year february 29 date of birth is before february month this next observation 1996 to 1997 leap year to non leap year leap year again leap year to non leap year if we are moving then we have to look this date is before february or after february if before february then calculation will be different if after february calculation will be different then here 31 196 whatever date will be there next year her birthday must be after plus 2 means we have to add two extra day Which day it was? Nineteen ninety-six. We will calculate little. We'll take pain to calculate. This nineteen ninety-six. It is closer to which multiple of four hundred? One thousand six hundred. One thousand six hundred plus three hundred plus ninety-five years plus January of the nineteen ninety-six. This is break off of nineteen ninety-six. One thousand six hundred. It will be zero because four into four hundred zero. Three hundred years. We know it is one number of odd days. Ninety-five years. We have to divide twenty-three leap year, seventy-two non-leap year. And January of nineteen ninety-six is given thirty-first January. Means we have to take thirty-one days, and accordingly we have to calculate odd days. Then here, just we'll come down little bit more calculation. Zero plus one plus two into twenty-three into one into seventy-two plus three, four January nineteen ninety-six. Total has come one twenty two divided by seven. It is Wednesday. Means here, it is Wednesday. Then it must be plus two. Wednesday is three plus two five. Five means Friday. Means next year C will celebrate birthday on Friday. Nineteen ninety six C has celebrated on Wednesday. Just another variant. Which day Niva celebrate? Birthday in 1999. Now this will give you very clear cut picture. How to move? Just like a leap frog. 1997 to 1998 to 1999. Okay. This is also non leap year. This is also non leap year. This is also non leap year. All three are similar. Means movement is not going to affect how many days will change or how many days will change between any of the two number. Here, just suppose 1997 we got the date. It is Friday. The next year, non leap year to non leap year, only it will change by plus one. Non leap year to non leap year. If you are going the same day, same date, then it will change by only plus one. Then it will be Friday to Saturday. Next again, it will be Sunday. Means 1999, she will celebrate on Sunday. 1996, which day she celebrated? This is celebrated on Wednesday. Wednesday plus two, Friday. It has become 1997 plus one. It is Saturday in 1998 plus one, Sunday in 1999. Now here another interesting pattern will come if you are including 2000. In 2000, which year? Because it will be leap year. Again, we are moving from last. We have moved leap year to non leap year. Here movement will be non leap year to leap year. date will matter date will matter because this is 31st january 2000 whatever february is going to affect by one extra day that will not applicable for this date 
this is only we have to careful during exam or during solving the question 31st january 2000 it will not include the extra day of february 29 means non leap year to leap year also if we are moving based on this date then it will change by one only means 2000 she will celebrate on monday but is it same if her date of birth would be 8th march no it would be totally different moment i think you are getting clarity movement from leap year to non leap year non leap year to non leap year and non leap year to leap year be careful based on that plenty of questions are coming careful in counting one plus year plus minus it will make the mistake because much of scope is not there that much only mistake will be there either after calculation you will get answer friday but actual answer will be thursday or actual answer may be saturday but you will mark friday friday also will be option will be given no need to worry option will be given friday also thursday also saturday also because they know they will do the mistake of plus minus one they know you can do the mistake of plus minus one depends on date with respect 28th or 29th february you must count if you are moving from 